Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And after this video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the surface area and volume of a cube. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, this video is under our series with regards to the calculation of surface area and volume of solid figures. And last time, we had a video about the surface area and volume of rectangular prism. Yung link ng ating video about that ay ilalagay natin sa ating description box. At makita nyo rin siya dito. Okay? So let's start discussing the surface area and volume of a cube. So ito yung cube natin. And ang target natin is to calculate for the surface area and volume of this given uh, three-dimensional figure. So uh, discuss muna natin to or elaborate muna natin yung ating figure. Yung ating cube is basically pinagsama-samang anim na uh, square or in mapag-create tayo ng ating three-dimensional figure. So mapansin nyo, meron na tayo isang dimension which is 4 cm kasi lahat ng sides or edges nito ay may measurement na 4 cm. This one is 4 cm, lahat yan ay 4 cm. So ang tanong sir, what is the formula in calculating for the surface area and volume of a cube. For the surface area, yung formula natin simply 6 times S squared. And for the volume, to calculate for the volume, ang formula na gamitin nyo is simply volume or V is equal to S cube. Ngayon, differentiate natin bakit ganyan yung formula at ano ba talaga yung kinakalculate for the surface area and volume. I have here a cute size cube. Ito. Cube po yan ha, cube. Galing po ito sa, ano, sa, yan, sa box dito sa bahay. Meron tayo ditong cube na kung saan, pag sinabi natin surface area guys, di ba kung mapansin nyo, meron tayong six faces. One, ah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six faces nitong cube na to. Kung mapansin nyo, yung faces nyo, lahat sila is square. We're in, pag sinabi natin surface area, simply you're calculating for um, the sum of the area of the six faces na meron ng ating cube. Or in, kung mapansin nyo nga, sa ating formula mismo, you have six, ating number of faces, and ito naman yung formula para sa area ng square na meron tayo dito. Kaya siya 6 S squared. So again, yun yung surface area natin. And sir, how about the volume? Pinamagandang word or pinamadaling word na gagamitin ko para mas madali nyo maintindihan kung ano ba talaga yung ibig sabihin ng volume dito or ano yung kinakalculate. Yung kinakalculate sa volume ay yung uh, total capacity ng isang solid figure. Sa kahit anong figure ito, ah, sa kahit anong solid figure, yung total capacity, let's say for example ito, kung gano'n ba karami yung pwede natin ilagay sa loob ng isang cube na meron tayo. Ito, tinanggal ko yung laman niya. Okay. Yung loob nito o yung total capacity niya, yung kinakalculate natin for the volume. So ngayon, para mas madali nyo maintindihan, Let's try calculating for the surface area of this given cube where in the dimension or yung length ng kanyang sides or edges ay 4 cm. Let's start with the surface area. You have your SA is equal to 6 and your S is equal to 4 cm. So nagin mo lang dito, you have here 6 and then substitute the value of your side or S which is 4 centimeters and then squared. And then simplifying your grouping symbol here, you have 6 times your 4 centimeters squared. That will give you 16 centimeter squared. Pag simplify natin yan. And to finalize your answer, you can have 6 times 16. 6 times 16, dami na na. 6 times 10 na lang, that is 60. And then 6 times 6, that will give you 36. So all in all, you have your surface area as 96 centimeter squared. Ito ngayon, ganun ang kadali. Para sa akin, ito yung pinakamadali calculate sa lahat ng mga solid figures. Now let's move on with the volume. For the volume naman, you have your V is equal to, your S is equal to 4 centimeters. Substitute mo lang between 4 centimeters, then you can have 4 centimeters cube. Wherein, kapag kinakulit niyo yung ano natin, yung mismong 
uh, 4 times 4 times 4, that will give us 64. I said 4 times 4, that is 16 times 4, that will give you 64. You have a 64 centimeter cube or cubic centimeter. Ngayon, tatandaan niyo po ito, lagi itong sasabihin, kapag cube ang ating ano, or kapag volume ang ating kinakalculate, laging cubic yung mismo ano, yung mismong um, unit of measurement ng ating final answer. Kapag naman surface area, since area po yun, yung ating, ano, yung ating exponent ay squared. So in the next part of our video, I will give you uh, last one example para mas madaling yung maintindihan ano ba talaga yung weight kung paano mag-calculate ng surface area and volume of... Now let us solve example number 2 with regards to the surface area and volume of cube. Here's the problem. A box is a cube measuring 10 inches on each side. Find the volume and surface area of the cube. Though wala tayong given figure, madali lang naman itong problem na to. So let's start with the volume. The volume is equal to S cube. And given this problem, sabi dito, a box is a, is a cube measuring 10 inches on each side. Ibig sabihin yan, your S is equal to 10 inches. Okay? So try natin, subject natin yung value ng S natin sa ating formula. You have V is equal to 10 inches or 10 inches cube. Where in pag calculate natin to, your 10 times 10 is 100 and then times 10, that will give you 1,000. Your volume now is equal to 1,000 inches cube. I think volume natin, di ba? Mukha siya mahirap pero madali lang ng pag calculate natin. And for the surface area, SA is equal to 6 times S squared. Same value of S, which is 10 inches. You have 6 times 10 inches squared. And this will give you 6 times 100. Kasi 10 times 10 natin is 100 inches squared. And 6 times 10, your surface area is equal to 600 inches squared. Ito na rin yung sum ng lahat ng area ng faces ng cube na meron tayo sa given. So, I hope na natutunan niyo yung methods natin on how to calculate for the surface area and volume of a given cube. So, kung meron kang request na topic that you want me to discuss, pwede mo siyang ilagay sa ating comment section para mabasa ko siya at magawan ko siya ng video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!